RDZ 2022-09. The Flanagan case is located at James Road. Currently, it is R1. The request is for CG. It has water and sewer, and it involves 7.8 acres. Mr. Dillon. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Commissioner. Uh, the request is from R1 to CG. We also have an application email by the applicant to table this request for approximately 60 days. That will put this on our August 9th or August 23rd agenda items, um, if so if so approved. But it is a request from R1 to CG along James Road. Uh, the property is, again, within the Neighborhood Character Activity Center um, on the future fiction map. It's currently surrounded by R1, and the applicant has indicated general retail uh, as well as medical. We, we've heard the grocery store. We don't have a specific site plan yet, but... That is what's been verbally spoken um, in conversation with the applicant, and he has reached out to those in opposition to uh, the request within that neighborhood. Um, it's a fairly large tract currently split by James Road and Smith Road. Uh, right now, access is off James Road. You can see the property here, quite a bit of frontage, five lanes there against James Road. You also see facing north, um, several local churches within this area, as well as predominantly low density residential. This is a view down Smith Street, where the residential is still R1, but slightly more uh, slightly more dense than the Jane Road side. But the Planning Commission recommended denial um, based on the fact that there was no specific use identified, but they did uh, propose if additional residential could be put in there at a higher density, uh, to which the opposition uh, said they may view favorably. But at the moment, uh, they are categorically denied to any commercial zoning at this time, though they have at least met with the applicant. Any questions? So, Jay, who, who, who's requesting that we table it? The applicant, Mr. Flanagan, has no. requested that we table it. So, do you know the reasoning behind that? I mean, he would like to try to continue discussions and provide uh, more details or maybe a specific site plan for specific use for us to better consider than just speculative commercial zoning. I just think we need to be careful about how we handle these types of situations. Planning Commission recommends denial. It's almost like panicking sets, and then we're asked to table something, but I feel like we have to have a valid reason to table something. So if it's a 